Well, first of all, aloha, John, and aloha to all the alumni that's out there and hopefully are listening to this. It's a great question, gender security. And I may offer to you, some folks may not have heard the term. So let me just put it out here right up front to clear it up. Uh, is there a difference between gender and sex? And I would say absolutely yes. And so when we talk about security, when we talk about the role of women in peace and security, we're looking at it from a gender perspective, where we are looking at not just male, female, boys, and girls. We're looking at an angle that includes both of them, or all four of them, but also takes into account our cultural differences, our perspectives, our biases that we look, that actually influences policy. So when I think about gender security, I think about people. It's centered on people. And here's a dilemma we have, particularly in some people that are going, what does this have to do with the price of pickles? Frankly, people are focused on the shiny object, and that's national security. National security is tied to what? Prosperity and stability, isn't it? That's what every country aspires to. I would offer you there is an overlap between national security of any country and human security, the human dimension. Why do I say that? The 21st century, as we all know, is complex, ambiguous, uncertain, sometimes very violent. In the 21st century, we're going to see population go from 7 billion to 9 billion plus. We're going to see mega cities. We're going to see climate changes that will affect these mega cities that are all located within 100 miles of coastlines. Human security will be a big part of national security. Not to mention, it will also go with competing resources that are limited. So yes, the two are together and gender security is the right place we should be in terms of our thinking.